Yo, what up fam? It's Phantom. Welcome back to another Pixelmon video. And in this video, we are going to be going over the top five essential items that you are going to need in your Pixelmon adventure before you really, really get started on whatever server you're going to be playing on, or even if you're going to be playing in single player. These are very important items that you guys are all going to need. Um, if Before we get this started, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you guys want more content like this and more Pixelmon content in general, hit that subscribe button so I know that you guys enjoy it and that I can make more content for you guys. So without further ado let's hop into it number one all right so the first thing you're going to obviously want to get is pokeballs pokeballs are extremely important for pixelmon and i will show you guys how to make it first off you're going to need apricorns there's different recipes for different pokeballs but right now we're just going to go over the simple red pokeball um, but they're different recipes for different ones and there will be a link in the description down below so you guys can see what exactly you're going to need for each pokeball uh, but for now we need to cook these apricorns you cannot do anything with just normal apricorns you have to cook them so you need three red apricorns to make a pokeball so let me show you how that works now. Actually, as that's cooking, we will actually build what we need to make sure we can actually use this. So we actually need um, iron ingots to fill this every area except for the second row, third one over, and that is to create an anvil. This is not your Minecraft anvil. This is your Pixelmon anvil. That's very important. And we're going to be using this to make our Pokeballs. Now that our apricorns are cooked, we go over here and we put those together like this on a flat row. You should make Pokeball discs. You get five of them for the three red apricorns you're also going to need to do the exact same thing with the iron and that's the top of the pokeball and this is the bottom of the pokeball so we grab these five iron discs on the bottom and we have to use this we have to use the anvil we have to use our pokeball top and bottom on the anvil and use a hammer to break them down into what they need to be let me show you how that's done all right we got ourselves a hammer we just hammer away you left click on it and it creates as you can see, oh, as you can see in our inventory, which it didn't go to our inventory. There it goes. It makes Pokeball lids. This is what we're going to be using for our uh, Pokeballs in the recipe. So we need these Pokeball lids. So then you just make all of these and you do the same thing with the iron discs. You put the iron disc on, you left click it until it creates it. And that creates the bottom of the iron Pokeball base. The last thing you're going to need is buttons. And you might be wondering, how do you make buttons? You just put stone in a crafting bench and they make buttons. This is not cobblestone so you do have to cook your cobblestone in a furnace that'll turn them into stone and then they'll turn the stone into a button like so and then finally you put them together just put the iron base at the bottom the pokeball lid at the top and the buttons in the middle and you got yourself a pokeball and then we can throw the pokeball let's see if we can cl clutch this out oh i just i just nailed that wooloo let's see if we'll catch it can we catch this? Oh, it ran away. All right, so that, you, you get essentially how this works. You can throw Pokeballs at Pokemon, or you can even fight Pokemon. You can click R to fight Pokemon. Uh, I, let's see if I can nail this hop -ip. I think it's too gone, too far now. Anyway, you can throw uh, Pokemon. You can fight them and get them lowered um, health. That way, it's a little easier that way. So that's the first item, Pokeballs. You're going to need them. Number two. All right, the next best item that you're going to get is the Pokemon Healing Station. You need a healing station because your Pokemon are no good dead. Well, fainted, I know, I know, but they're dead. So you want your Pokemon alive. So naturally, you need to make a healing station. And how you do that is you first need aluminum. How you get aluminum, you're not going to find it around the world. You're actually going to find these blocks. It's called bauxite ore. When you mine it, you'll see that it's called bauxite ore. Um, and you just use that into a furnace just like you would iron. This turns it into aluminum ingots. Now, aluminum ingots aren't what you need. You need actual aluminum plates. And we're going to use these aluminum uh, ingots just like we did with the Pokeball. We put it on the anvil and we hammer it down to make aluminum plates. Let me show you. We need, you put that like that, and then you use your hammer and you do the same thing you did before. And now you get an aluminum plate. So you need actually four of these aluminum plates to make the healing station. Let me grab that real quick. All right, now to make this, you're gonna go into the crafting station. You'll put aluminum plates in the corners like so, iron ingots there, and then a diamond in the middle, and you've got a healing station. That is how you make a healing station for your Pokemon. You put it down, and then you can use it, left click or right click it, and it'll heal your Pokemon up to full health. That easy. Number two. The next item you're going to want in your essential items is a PC. Once you catch six Pokemon, you've got them all on your team. You catch the seventh Pokemon, it goes away. How do you access it? 
to a PC. When you build a PC, you're able to access any Pokemon that you catch that aren't in your party. And you're going to want to access to those because you're probably going to catch a lot of Pokemon. So you're going to go to the crafting station and you first need a redstone lamp. You take glowstone dust, which you get from glowstones uh, that you get in the nether. You put them in these four like this. Brings a glowstone. You put that in the middle. You put the redstone around it and makes a redstone lamp. And then finally, you're also going to need glass planes. You need six pieces of glass that turns into glass plane like that. Those are the items you're going to need for this recipe. Oh, also you'll need aluminum plates. So you use the glass plane at the top. You put the redstone lamp in the middle. You put redstone in the bottom, and then you put aluminum plates all the way around it. And that makes a PC. So now when we put our PC down, any Pokemon we catch, we can put in these. They'll, they'll go in these boxes and we'll be able to get them out. So that's how you make a PC. Number four. The next item that you're going to make, and it's really going to speed things up a lot, is the mechanical anvil. You absolutely need this item to really get a ton of Pokeballs, and it helps with your generation a lot faster, so you aren't hammering away at the anvil all day long. So this one is a little complicated to get. Let me show you what we need. So the items you're going to need for this are wood, cobblestone, a slime ball, iron, redstone, and a furnace. Now, the slime ball can be difficult to get. The easiest way to find slime balls is to either kill ladybugs and ladians, or try to find coughings and other Pokemon in swamp areas. They drop uh, commonly slime balls. And slime balls are a little more difficult to get since you can't just go find slimes in the wild, um, but you can find them in swamps pretty easily. So once you have this, we need to make actually a sticky, sticky piston. To make a piston, you put wood on the top like so, you put cobblestone on the sides, you put a redstone at the bottom, and then you put an iron ingot. And that makes a piston. To make a sticky piston, it's real easy. Just put a slime ball on top, and you've got your sticky piston. Now you need to put your sticky piston in the middle, your furnace in the bottom, and then you actually need iron bars. So we need to actually make that. So iron bars are made like so. Just like we made the glass pane planes, then you put the iron bars all the way around it like so, the furnace on the bottom, and then the sticky piston in the middle, and you get a mechanical anvil. So why this is important is when you have something like the Pokeball disc, instead of hammering away at the anvil, you just put in the mechanical anvil and there it goes. It cooks it for you. It's an automated way to make the tops and the bottoms of your Pokeballs, which makes your Pokeball generation so much quicker and so much nicer. Mechanical Anvil will save you a lot of time, so make sure you pick it up. Number five. All right, so the last item you're going to need is the item finder. The item finder is extremely important because it helps you find the pokey loot around the map. If you're in single player, it helps a lot just to be able to find out where everything is. And if you're playing in multiplayer or on a server, it helps you get loot before everybody else, which could be really, really important to get your head on the server that you're on. So let's go ahead and hop into the recipe for this. So what you're gonna need is aluminum plates, diamonds, redstone, a glass pane, and aluminum plates. The recipe is as follows. You put gold like so. So you put the glass pane right there. You put the redstone in the middle. You put the aluminum plates like so, and then the diamond in the top right, and you got yourself an item finder. This is really helpful because you can use it to scan for items that you're going to need, which is really, really helpful. And it'll really get your adventure going really quickly. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe so you guys can see more content like this. We got a Moringa Berry. That's literal garbage. But thank you guys for watching, though. I, I really do enjoy putting out these videos. And if you guys enjoy them as well, I would love it if you subscribed and helped me out. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by May. and It would be awesome if we could hit that. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.